Hi everybody, uh, something I wanted to uh, show you, um, one of those cases of where I messed up, and I'll let you know so you don't have to. This Towncraft liner, which I have in my broken skull hat, this Towncraft liner was from my uh, one of my great granddad's hats, and I've been switching it out um, to my first fed four, and now I've put it into uh, a broken skull hat, which I love the liner that came out of the broken skull hat, but... This, uh, this liner means a lot to me. And to keep it sticking in the uh, Fed 4, I put double-sided tape on there. Uh, it's a very short liner. See, it comes to just below, or just to, just to there. There's not a lot of play um, for the liner to actually go up under the sweatband. And it was the same way for the Fed 4. So I put double-sided tape on there. And you see what it's done. It's left a residue. I actually took the tape off after I took it out of the Fed 4. And it's left a residue. It's bled through to the liner. So my advice is do not use double-sided tape on your liners if you want to keep it uh, looking really good. Do not put double-sided tape on your hat liners to keep them in the hat. Just put them in there. They'll stay in there. Just put them in there. Uh, like I say, I mess up and let you know so you don't have to. Uh, chalk that up to uh, one of those things. Uh, I need to brush this. I cut the grass in this yesterday. did great. And I don't get as hot in this thing as I thought I would. Uh, this thing breathes pretty good. Um, okay, so anyway, do not use double-sided tape on your liners. I'm hoping that comes off one day because... You know, it's got a lot of sentimental value, this Towncraft liner. Okay, well, y'all have a wonderful day. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.